guys, my name is Shivrajit and you are watching Tech Treats. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the custom kernels for Redmi Note 4 and uh, a solution for the no signal issues of custom ROMs. So as you can see that I am using um, Lineage OS uh, as my custom ROM and uh, on top of that, I am using a Xenial kernel. So uh, regarding the custom kernels, I have two picks and uh, one is the Faust kernel, the another is the Xenial kernel. So let me first give you an idea of uh, the advantages and the disadvantages that both the custom kernels have. So for Fox kernels you will get a very good performance. It is a performance oriented kernel but uh, the disadvantage is, is that uh, you will have uh, the uh, te temperature of your device uh, will be on the higher side. Uh, whenever you play your games or charge your device your temperature will be high. And um, the another kernel is uh, the uh, Xenial kernel. So um, uh, let me first give you uh, the battery backup I am getting with the Xenial kernel. Let me just show you. So uh, as you can see that uh, I am getting a screen on time of 9 hours 31 minutes 6 seconds. And I still have 26% um, of battery backup left and I will easily get around 1 to 2 hours extra so that makes it uh, around 11 hours uh, of uh, screen on time so that's it's, uh, it's a good thing and um, regarding performance uh, when you first install this uh, kernel you will notice lags and all that but I have a, a solution for that a few customizations I will talk about that later but first uh, let me talk about tell you about uh, another important thing that is uh, the no signal issues so uh, uh, with this kernel you will solve the no signal issues and um, but um, it will not uh, totally uh, solve that issues I'm saying it because um, you will not get a good uh, internet uh, stability and it will fluctuate a lot uh, uh, you will notice it uh, when you are playing online games and uh, it, yeah obviously it will be irritating but uh, you will not miss any, um, any any of your calls because of the no signal issue with uh, all the uh, custom rooms so um, now let's move on to the uh, customization part so for this uh, you have to have an app called kernel auditor you can have um, any customizing uh, tuking app uh, as you see fit uh, I personally use uh, kernel auditor so as you can see that uh, my CPU temperature is uh, 36.7 degrees centigrade and the battery is 37.7 degrees centigrade and uh, for fast kernel I used to have an average battery temperature of around 40 to 45 degrees centigrade which is uh, really high in comparison to my genial kernel So uh, for this uh, customization you have to go to CPU and uh, select the minimum frequency at 480. After that, uh, after that go to thermal and uh, select the Intelli thermal, select that option. And you don't have to change anything else and uh, uh, you are good to go so uh, that's it guys um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful do hit the thumbs up button if thumbs down share your thoughts regarding the custom kernel in the comment section below and last but not the least don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is Shubrajit over and out